Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie. This is episode eight of Ocean Block. <laughs> I like how it's got uh, Altera on the, the arms there. Altera. That's cool. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> awesome. So we got stuff to do today. So uh, this is we got enough. Uh, titanium for the sea moth so it took a while I had to scavenge some stuff I mean recycle some stuff and got quite a bit through here but it should all be ready down here to go look at that sea moth Boop. now it's it says it needs energy but I don't know do you just put that in a charging station as an item like that? Do you have to like use it and then pick it up? And how do you pick it up? Um, let's go up to the dock, I guess. I played around with it in the other one, but I didn't really have anything to go explore. Ooh, look at that. Okay, where do we need to go? Uh, to the west, I believe. I hope this works. <laughs> so fast. Oh, it's got monster spawners in it and blue crates. Oh my goodness. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh... Holy cow. Holy cow. <laughs> there were so many of them. I don't even have a shield. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Well, it has an entrance. Alright, let's get out of this. Now, how do you pick it back up? Uh, just break it like a boat? Uh, no, if you right click, if I hit this lever. Well, how are you supposed to charge it? You can't pick it back up. I am perplexed. Uh, what what mod is it from? Better diving. Let's see. I hear, I hear a drowned over there. Uh, I had better. Does it have like a wrench or something?
This is better end. I don't want that. I don't see like a wrench or anything. Huh. Dang it. Dang it. How am I supposed to get it back? You're just supposed to use it until the power is gone? How are you supposed to recharge that thing? I don't know. Well, now I have to figure out something else to do uh, because we got the sea moth and we we went to the, the dome, the sea dome, uh, but we're not ready for that yet. We need to get uh, our stuff fortified. Oh man, there's some blue crates and spawners. Uh, I would just have to go in there and, and hope that I could destroy those spawners. Pretty dark. They're creeper spawners. Oh. <laughs> oh. That was, that was scary. That was so scary. So we're going to have to get kitted up to go back in there again. Uh, but it's, it's a short drive to get over there. So we we got enough fuel to get over there again. What are you just supposed to make another one if you run out of fuel? That seems kind of wasteful. Okay, so um Oh yeah, I looted something last time. The trash can, and that gave me a reward. There we go, and that gave us some silicon. Was that like 32 like the last time? Yeah, so we got a crap ton of silicon. What quest? Oh, I did the sea moth. That's right. I have slimy mycelial generator it takes slime balls and produces FE that's kind of cool that's kind of cool oh I'm going the wrong way That was a bit more than I bargained for. <laughs> I I even had to uh, go go in there, get another chest here for uh, stuff. Let's get the music discs in there so I can tell which ones are duplicates. This one. This one. This one and this one. I don't really need the black ink, but I, I don't need it taking up space either. Oh, I guess I got a quest done for getting that mycelial generator. Yeah, yeah. Man of Steel leggings. I wonder if if I were to drive that thing into the the dome, would it then pop up like an item, or would it just get stranded?
kind of annoying. All right, so let's sleep the night and see if we can find something to do. At least we didn't have a lighting glitch that I've seen. We didn't really go that far though, so. Let's look in our quest book. We pretty much obliterated this except for the netherite sluice. Uh, forged from netherite, this sluice proves itself to be both efficient and modular. Can be fully automated as well as upgraded to further increase efficiency. Right with empty hand to open GUI. I'm, I'm assuming that's right click with empty hand to open GUI. Sluice uses a mesh and fluid to process blocks like gravel, sand, and more into resources. Nice. Um, I guess we could start working toward... Let's look at the mesh. Pretty sure diamond is as good as you can get. Diamond is the best mesh. So... Let's look at the sluice. Sluice. What is that thing? You just do the smithing table with the netherite ingot. Oh. You could take a trinket. and break it down for a piece of netherite in the item recycler. That is pretty awesome. I did not know that. Ooh, that makes trinkets even more valuable. Awesome, okay. So we can either go exploring and try and get another trinket so that we, and hope we've already got it so it's not a waste or we could uh, try to do it the old-fashioned way <laughs> and let's see uh, and get it the netherite scrap. Wait a minute. No. Okay, debris scraps. I think this is what we get. 2% chance of crushed basalt. A 4% through a diamond mesh. We have a diamond mesh, so we need to figure out how to get basalt. Crushed basalt. Basalt. You can make it with liquid mob souls and lava to make 16 would be better to do it that way but we got to make liquid mob souls so it basically takes two mob souls to make 16 basalt and a bucket of lava Oh, and check this out. I upgraded the heat source with the uh, blue magma block. I can basically switch it out. I got the, the regular one there. Uh, but look how fast it processes lava. <laughs> Seven seconds for a bucket. Woo! That is fast. Let me tell you. <laughs> So here's all our stuff. 
Uh, I still haven't broken down these diamond clusters because uh, there is an even more efficient way than a pulverizer to break these down. Uh, and since we have so many of them, I might as well <laughs> get as many as I can out of these, right? Uh, so I'm waiting to get the induction smelter and we can triple or even sometimes quadruple the diamond output on that. So we can get three or four, sometimes even five diamonds uh, per cluster. So that's a lot of diamonds. <laughs> that's why I'm holding out. I'm holding out. Um, so if we need that, it takes, it's like 4% chance and it takes nine to make one scrap. And you need four That's a lot. Is that is that right? Yeah. It's a lot of basalt that we're going to have to chew through. So we're going to need a lot of that um, essence stuff. So we're going to have to make a mob system. Um, I don't know where I want to put a mob farm. Maybe off this way? And I'm wondering, do I need, do I even need to like connect it? There's um, we can just make it its own little island. Use like a lily pad to put a block on, or something like that. And we could just take a boat over there. I mean, there's there's no reason to like uh, connect it. Yeah, I don't like that idea. <clears throat> we could sort of put it um, maybe off over here. Or even just straight south. Like, um, like maybe in between here and that raft. What do we want to build it out of, though? Do we want to make it look like it's this a raft? Hmm. Hmm. Decisions. Decisions. I'm not good with uh, like snap decisions. I need to think things over. <laughs> um, we can make it out of cobblestone. We got tons of cobblestone. How's this guy doing over here? Oh, I bet I'm out. I'm not out of power. Did I have any? I got some gravel. I probably should um, break that down and make it into dust it's for the redstone because I have this this is doing a little bit of cobble and I mean not cobble gravel and sand so oops I just wanted the full stacks. There we go. 
Yeah, we can make it out of cobble and wood. We got plenty of that. do that. Alright, uh, let's, let's go ahead and sleep and then we'll kind of scout it out. There is a ravine to the south. We might not want to put it over that. There might be some traps or something. <sighs> Refreshing. So if we get this, we can upgrade our sluice even more. I'm not going to take the boat. I'm just going to swim. Hopefully. Oh, wow. That's, that's quite a bit farther away. This is about where I would want it. I think. But I'm going to break this. So I don't need the lily pad. make an uh, infinite okay we're gonna have to stomp it out Urgh, I can't move Whew. sort of make that not that I guess that could be the, the middle I don't really care if I get this stuff back or not obliterate the raft. <laughs> now it's all going to come floating back up. Oh, that's 
stuff coming back up. <laughs> I thought I got it all. Okay, I think that's it. Just make uh, we got four four mob fans. The mob fans can even be uh, have upgrades to increase the the height and width of the blowing area so um, let's put uh, let's put you do we have s7 boop 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 I bet we don't even need these now other than to just mark it. <sighs> so, yes, mob farm. Uh, probably just will make a room. to add one onto one side just so it can have uh, a middle so like uh, that would probably be the middle and then if I add one on another side here that would probably be the middle one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five nice all right so we could have uh, like one fan here boop, that uh, does the you can only have like three upgrades per fan upgrade uh, for the width so max of three so it starts off as one wide so it would go three five seven so we could do uh, seven wide one, two, three. Whoa! What the heck was that? <laughs> I just flew off. <laughs> okay. Um, I do think I don't want it uh, all the way in the back. Oops. Whoa! What is that? Is that some... I don't know if I like that. Oh, the ring of dexterous motion. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> That's like making me uh, move all over the place. Um, I'm still, I'm still spooked about that dome, man. We're gonna have to. gonna have to get stacked for that. Go in, bum rush. 
Hope those creepers don't explode. Okay, so uh, that's kind of the layout. Let's do this in wood. Look at this. We can stack those back on top of each other. Uh, so, one, two, three, four. And it goes, uh, one fan goes, one, two, three, four, five forward. So, oh, I need to, I need to make this platform bigger. One, two, three. So, uh, then we could have like a fan here. And a fan here, so we'd only need three fans. These would just be normal ones. And then we could have uh, the mob, mob grinder, which we'll have to make, because I haven't gotten one yet, in this playthrough. Uh, but we have gotten an iron spike, and we have plenty of iron, so block of redstone. Three diamonds. We only have two diamonds, so we'll have to uh, make another, uh, crush up another one. So that's kind of the layout. Um, Oh, I do have a chisel. I did loot one. Nice. Um, so yeah, I'll need to uh, make a little bit bigger platform here. I guess I could have... Do I have a building wand? No. All right. I just need to like maybe one, two, three, four, five. Just need a little bit of a platform over here. I put it off one. That's okay. There we go. All right, so that's the layout, and then we'll have the blurst earth. <laughs> it's gonna spawn like everything. We need like a huge storage system uh, just to accommodate all the different drops. Oh. Uh, but I'm going to make a chest. Put uh, some of this stuff in there. Because uh, we can make this out of chiseled stuff too. That'll be nice. Let's let's go. Let's turn that seven off. Did it go off? No. I guess it doesn't work if you're pressing something. All right. So 
here it is, an iron spike. And I know there, I don't, I don't need all four of those. Oh, there was a quest for that. Nice. Oh, we're going to need the blurst earth. Let's, uh, we'll save the blurst earth for next episode. We're running out of time here. Um, building up that takes a little bit of time, but I will do, like, uh, build up that building over there and we'll put the blurst earth in together and do that next episode but <laughs> at least uh, we have a direction to go now with the netherite sluice and we need to get uh, we need to work on upgrading our equipment and possibly getting a shield before we go back over there so yeah <laughs> But we will go back over there. Anyway, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.